Hello students, today we will learn about radioisotopic techniques in biochemistry. Coming to the introduction. Radioactivity results from the spontaneous nuclear disintegration of unstable isotopes. Isotopes are the different forms of an atom having identical number of protons but different number of neutrons. For example, hydrogen occurs in three forms as hydrogen, deuterium and tritium, consisting of identical number of protons, constant charge plus one proton. Deuterium and tritium have a neutron and two neutrons respectively and only tritium is radioactive. Radioisotopes are the unstable isotopes. Types of radioactive decay. First, decay by negatron emission. A neutron is converted to a proton by the ejection of a negatively charged beta particle called a negatron. The nucleus loses a neutron but gains a proton and the mass number A remains constant. An isotope frequently used in biological work that decays by negatron emission is 14 carbon. to identify active and inactive areas of the brain. The third one is the decay by alpha particle emission. Isotopes of elements with high atomic numbers frequently decay by emitting alpha particles. An alpha particle is the helium nucleus. It consists of two protons and two neutrons. Emission of alpha particles results in a considerable lightening of the nucleus a decrease in atomic number of 2 and a decrease in the mass number of 4.
There are three commonly used methods of detecting and quantifying radioactivity. These are based on the ionization of gases, on excitation of solids or solutions and the ability of radioactivity to expose photographic emulsions that is autoradiography. The first one is the methods based upon gas ionization. If a charged particle passes through a gas, its electrostatic field dislodges orbital electrons from atoms sufficiently close to its path and causes ionization. The ability to induce ionization decreases in the order. If ionization occurs between a pair of electrodes enclosed in a suitable chamber, a pulse current flows. Ionization counters are sometimes called proportional counters, proportional because small voltage changes can affect the count rate. The Giger-Muller counter has a cylindrical shaped gas chamber and it operates at a high voltage. This makes the instrument less dependent on a stable voltage, so counters is cheaper and lighter. In ionization counters, the ions have to travel to their respective electrodes. Other ionizing particles entering the tube during this, the so-called dead time, are not detected and this reduces the counting efficiency. Ionization counters are used for routine monitoring of the laboratory to check for contamination. They are also useful in experimental situations where the presence or absence of radioactivity needs to be known rather than the absolute quantity. For example, quick screening of radioactive gels prior to autoradiography, checking that a level DNA probe is where you think it is and not down the sink or checking chromatographic fractions for level components. The second one is methods based upon excitation. Radioactive isotopes interact with matter in two ways, ionization and excitation. The latter effect leads an excited atom or compound, known as the floor, to emit photons of light. The process is known as scintillation. When the light is detected by a photomultiplier, it forms the basis of scintillation counting. Essentially, a photomultiplier converts the energy of radiation into an electrical signal and the strength of the electric pulse that results is directly proportional to the energy of the original radioactive event. This means that two or even more isotopes can be separately detected and measured in the same sample provided they have sufficiently different emission energy spectra. Now, types of scintillation counting. There are two types of scintillation counting. The first one is solid scintillation counting. The sample is placed adjacent to a solid floor. Example,
Noise is random but counts from a radioactive decay are simultaneous. The coincident counts only are recorded. Quenching. This is the name for reduction in counting efficiency caused by colored compounds that absorb the scintillated light or chemicals that interfere with the transfer of energy from radiation to the photomultiplier. Correcting for quenching contributes significantly the cost of scintillation counting. Chemiluminescence. This is when chemical reactions between components of the samples to be counted and the scintillation Radioisotopes such as tritium, carbon-14, phosphorus-32 and calcium-45 are excellent tools in biological research. Most radioisotopes are used as treasures in studies of primary and secondary metabolism, drug metabolism, transcription, translation, post-translational modifications such as protein phosphorylation, association of proteins with metals and transport of metals across biomembranes. Thank you.